Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have what are their true intentions in love. And Capricorn, your oracles are here. And remember in the reading, uh, these energies could be your person's energies, right? First, they could anywhere in the reading. The reading could be switched. Uh, just please know that because these are general readings. And so let's see what we have. If you don't see your messages here or hear them, you know, check your other placements, right? So let's get into it right now. And Capricorn, somebody here uh, feels like it is they're being called, like it's time to step up. Now, I'm not sure if that's you or your person, but here this woman is like she's being called for some type of a journey, soul gifts and training. And so, uh, you know, the training part, maybe they're just kind of learning, right? That's why that word is there. Uh, it sounds to me like, you know, some type of uh, exercise. But... Uh, somebody, it's, t somebody's being called, I believe. There could be somebody here who has been healing because we have, uh, this card here, physical and emotional healing. Uh, but we have some really beautiful cards. We do. We also have, uh, the garden and the gate. I mean, for me, it's, it, you know, depends what you see is beautiful, but the 10 of cups is definitely here. It's very beautiful. And we see the couple and they're standing under the, underneath this tree. It's a white kind of tree. It looks like Looks like a cotton, uh, but cottons are not trees. They're more like bushes, but uh, it's just really beautiful here. And they're standing here between uh, looking at the ocean, kind of, you know, um, kind of the fierce ocean there. But this is definitely about somebody's happily ever after. Uh, and the garden and the gate, somebody could have been like standing at the garden, in the garden, like inside, right? Inside the garden, looking out the gate, like, wow, I wonder how it would be. Uh, to be out there, right? The butterflies are outside and she, you know, uh, every day this little girl kind of, or the young woman, I should say, she goes to the gate and she looks outside and says, I wonder how it could be outside of a situation. Somebody might be like unhappy. We have this card here of hostilities. All right. And we have this kind of Tarzan looking guy here, uh, you know, who looks like he's getting ready to like you know, cut somebody here. Uh, he's, uh, mm -hmm, and he's in the forest. He's outside, but somebody might be like unhappy in a situation, or maybe they were in a hostile situation because of the healing card here. And then of course, hostilities and the garden and the gate at the bottom of the deck here. This is about somebody who really wants something, uh, but they think about it, but they don't really go after it. But yeah, we have this card. You're being called. Somebody knows here. You or your person. It's time to step up and release these chains because we have Estefania and this, this is about somebody who is surrendering uh, and surrendering and like removing the chains and the bondage and releasing. And this is to fight for love because we have she who battles justice, fierce and commitment. So let's get into this here. And uh, interesting here, there's a lot of cards here to, to talk about, right? And we have the first chakra here, and this is about stability and security. But this talks about somebody who was feeling better about it. Like maybe they were kind of really concerned or worried about their stability and their security. And they're feeling better, like they know what to do about it, right? And justice is here. This is truth and clarity in this particular deck. And that's what somebody has the clarity here. I feel like somebody wants to step up. They do. And uh, maybe before they were too, maybe they were kind of, you know, they didn't have the courage or maybe they were worried about their security, right? We have the fool at the bottom of the deck here. Let's see what else they're showing here. The death card and the ten of wands reversed. To me, it looks like somebody's, uh, somebody is kind of maybe ending a situation really to take a leap of faith here. And they look like they are dropping the burden that they have been carrying. They felt blocked over here with the eight of wands reversed. I feel like they did uh, because that's what these cards are talking about. And the uh, five of wands is here. And this is competition. I just feel like you were competing with somebody who uh, kind of really couldn't compete possibly. It just looks like somebody wants to like leave a situation is my whole point. And so, and they feel like they are being called to, to do this, right? Maybe it is a fire sign. We do have one card here, the priestess, high priestess of fire. Mm -hmm. 
can be somebody who intuitively understands uh, what action they need to take uh, because that's what uh, you know the wands talk about talks about being inspired enough to like take action or to have enough courage right to manifest things for change to move forward things of that nature we're going to leave these cards over here let's see what we have for capricorn and their person for capricorn and their person let's see what we have queen of pentacles here and that is you three of wands four of cups the tower is on your mind the five of cups is the challenge for you what you want is the six of cups yeah you want somebody to return to you from your past capricorn uh real clear here and the six of pentacles is your doubt or your fear so maybe you are fearing that they were concerned about their stability because this uh first chakra archangel michael he's not really worried about his security anymore maybe he was right <laughs> It's almost like, you know, it's like the first chakra is, uh, is either healed, right? Mm -hmm. This five of cups is in your challenge, Capricorn. Maybe you're grieving this person. Maybe they have to grieve an ending or like maybe accept an ending, right? This five of cups, uh, it does talk about somebody sometimes accepting something, but this is about, uh, regret wow and it can be about um sad endings and just grieving it can be about major change where somebody suffers i mean because these are fives right and the fives talk about change major change let's see what else we have and somebody's drowning in the back here in this river and the man's just looking down like he's not going to save this man over here he has two cups uh, standing. I feel like this is a challenge. You might want somebody to walk away from somebody here and, and let this uh, let this kind of person over here just, you know, go down the river, Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of noticed that on this card. <laughs> you just want them to let them to let them uh, drown. You're like, no, don't save them, okay? If they if they start to drown, honey, just don't save them, right? Screw it. <laughs> let's see what else we have your person's challenge is the knight of cups this is to offer you love or to accept your love right and they have the four of cups and the ten of pentacles is their doubt or their fear maybe this is me see this could be about stability possibly here but we're gonna we're gonna see in a minute um and you know right now capricorn you might be unhappy or feeling super discontent about the whole thing maybe you have kind of poured this person's cup out possibly maybe you let them go in the past we see the three of wands i feel like what this is though is that you know you were discontent because like you thought you didn't have a future with this person because this three of wands he's letting the bird go this is about the future yeah i feel like you're unhappy because you thought you didn't have a future with them let's see what else we have maybe you felt like rejected possibly page of cups the tower this is what's on your mind I feel like you're wondering if this person's going to contact you. You might be thinking this person here is. You could be in the tower about them contacting you. You might be missing them for sure. This person, they could be in another situation for some of you guys. They could. And so right here, this, you could be in the tower about them contacting you, or you could be wondering if they are in that energy. Like, I wonder if they're like kind of really struggling with, with contacting me here. It looks like there was some type of a breakup over here, or if you're not, if you weren't really together with them, there was like some unhappiness here, maybe major disappointment. And in your challenge is a chariot yeah you wanted movement you wanted a victory i feel like in this reading you wanted movement yeah you wanted like i want things to change or i want things to move forward like i don't want this you know possibly for some of you guys something stagnant and here you are about this person 
two of swords like this is kind of more discontentment like i don't know what's going to happen or i don't have any control over it you might be wondering here like hoping to this person would return to you but uh maybe you feel this maybe you feel like they're in this energy the two of swords like maybe they don't know what they want or uh, maybe they feel like their hands are kind of tied, something like that. Somebody here knows that I feel like that you're a soulmate and it's time here. It's time to step up because we have truth and clarity with it. I feel like you are wondering if this person is going to maybe surrender to a sad ending here because in the challenge, you might need a sad ending here or you might need some major change in order to have this victory for yourself, Capricorn, with the chariot card and you have the six of pentacles and the death cards reversed. This is what you're afraid of. You could be afraid here that maybe another situation will never end because of Maybe because there's another person, Six of Pentacles, a few people here, or because of money, maybe this person will not get a, their fair share of money. Because we have the card, the first chakra, Archangel Michael talks about stability and security. I feel like you don't want something to end with this person. Yeah, you don't want it to end with them, but I feel like you're afraid here that it's that this is... Maybe their situation will never end because they, like I said, maybe they have one because it looks like you want this person to come forward, but, uh, and you may very well know that this person thinks you're a soulmate too. Yeah. You could really kind of know that. Uh, I, I'm not sure how, right? Uh, no, I'm not really sure how, but, uh, and they have the high priestess down here and the high priestess of, of fire is here. For me, this person does know. They know that you're a soulmate. They feel like they are being called. That's what this is. And you're wondering if they're going to show up. They might, yeah, they might have to like end another situation here because we have the five of cups and the death card reversed here. Now we know you want a major transformation, Capricorn, but I feel like this garden in the gate too can imply that Somebody's in an unhappy situation because this little girl here, kind of, you know, this young girl, yeah, she's pretty young here, but long story short, this is a little kind of, uh, this, you know, uh, she's a teenager here, but she, you know, she's looking outside the gate like, I'm not that happy where I'm at. I, I want to, I want to see how it is to be somewhere else. They have the two of cups and the high priestess. I feel like this person has enlightened themselves here all about you. Maybe you were a secret in the past. Maybe that's why you couldn't have the ace of wands with them because it's reversed here. They have the nine of pentacles reversed. This can talk about them like not feeling so stable about their situation. Maybe that's why they didn't choose the Ace of Wands with you. They didn't choose this with you. I also feel like they, maybe they have to lose money. Nine of Pentacles reversed in the upright. She's here with all her money, right? She's on her estate. And this person had to make a really hard choice. And you know that we have the Seven of Cups showing up here. In their challenge is the Knight of Cups. And they have the Empress. And that's you, Capricorn. Most likely, this is the Empress is you here. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're married to somebody. They could. Sometimes this is a mother. But for me in this reading, the Empress is more like somebody who is... This is about love and creativity. Like uh, somebody who is kind of sexy and passionate or... Or just somebody who is kind of loved, right? Mm-hmm. And she is number three in the major, major arcana. This is, let's see what else we have. We have the magician. Yeah, see, this person wants to manifest this with you. But the child, this is in the challenge. But here we see the nine of pentacles reversed. This is clear. It's a really hard choice for them. 
They either have to be single or they feel like they might lose money. Most likely. Or they're going to lose some status. Possibly. Here they are hugging on you, Capricorn. Yeah, beautiful. Right? And they're embracing really tightly. Like, I really loved you and I really missed you. I really... Because these people look like they just reunited. Or they're going to say goodbye. Like, uh, and you know, I'll be back. I'm going on a long trip, honey. I'm going somewhere. Because it's really tight the way they are, like, uh, kind of, you know, embracing each other. And they have received each other's cup. They're both holding a cup here. And the Ace of Wands is reversed. Yeah, this person's in love with you as well. I feel like they are. Four of Cups, the Sun card reversed. Maybe they're Leo. Mm-hmm. Okay. So here they are and their hopes. I mean... Right here, those four of cups, maybe they're still looking for their clarity here. We have truth and clarity up here with the justice card. And this sun card is reversed. Like, they don't have their clarity. They could be unhappy in their life as well. They could. This could be saying they're unhappy and they want to dump somebody's cup out right here. Because they want to manifest this with you. But it's showing up in the challenge. Yeah, this person has to give something up or make some type of a sacrifice. That's what this is about. And here they are, the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords reversed. For me, they want this with you. They want this commit. This could be their fear. Maybe they're going to lose their social status, Ten of Pentacles, right? They could have a family here. They look like they want a victory and uh, or they are fearing a victory maybe because of money here. I do feel like this uh, this Archangel Michael is talking about this per this is what's been on this person's mind. Their money. That talks about stability and security. Let's get another card on their fear or their doubt. It is the King of Pentacles. See, they're afraid here. They're not going to have you. It's probably that's probably you, this King of Pentacles. This person could be doubting that they're able to make this decision too. Sometimes the Ace of Swords is a decision. Somebody needs truth and clarity here. Or they are seeking that. Yeah, this can talk about clarity. This Ace of Swords can talk about a new beginning. They're afraid they're not going to have a new beginning here. We're going to end this reading, Capricorn, and go to the extent that they're all super affordable. I really want to see it. We're also going to use this other deck here. Yeah, we are. This kind of uh, very cool deck right here mm -hmm. uh, that we use sometimes. And we're going to see how they feel about you. We're going to have their whole spread all about you, like and what's coming in for them and uh, what they want, what they're hoping for, what they're afraid of, and the dynamic between you both, right? We're going to see that. Uh, Thanks so much, you guys, and the link is below. They're all super affordable, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.